Continuing on with week four parts, we have the dryer gear. This part is also in inches, so make sure you create it in inches and then save it. The dryer gear is basically made up out of horizontal gear with square teeth, two legs, and a spindle to a different uh, cylinder sizes up top. I found it's easier if you do the, I, I start with the gear in the bottom. There's an outside cylinder. It's got an outside cylinder of 5.88 inches and the inside cylinder at the bottom of the teeth of 5.46 inches. Notice that the, uh, the, the angle between the teeth is five degrees. That's from the middle of one tooth to the middle of the next tooth, five degrees, which means a pattern here is one tooth and one gap. So the gap and the tooth is five degrees, which means the tooth is two and a half degrees and the gap is two and a half degrees. So you can either take the inside cylinder and make a tooth on it that's two and a half degrees wide, or you can make the outside cylinder and cut a gap of two and a half degrees wide. Draw it on the sketch and uh, looking down at it and and it'll become a little more clear. So we have a hole in the center. We have four holes on the base of the gear. Notice they are not equally spaced. They're not 90 degrees apart. They're they're like uh, four of them in like a, the points of a rectangle. It tells you it's 0.88 inches from the top of the gear to the bottom of the cylinder. I assume that uh, when you're doing the legs that it's also at the bottom of the legs. 54 inches from the, the horizontal to the outside of a leg. I assume the other side is the same. And I assume the leg sides are parallel. If they're not parallel, we don't know what angle the inside of the, the leg is. Now I call the legs the pant legs. And I call it the pant legs because that reminds me to sketch it as uh, like a pair of pants with two legs. If you try and sketch one leg and then mirror it, it's kind of hard to get the between the legs, the crotch area, you're trying hard to get that thing looking right. So I draw it as both legs and one sketch that's inside of the cylinder. I think let's do the gear first. So we're going to do an extrusion on the horizontal surface. We're going to do an outside circle of 5.88. Zoom in on that. You know what? I'm going to do the inside circle too, since we're here. And that one is 1.16. Look at the bigger screen. 1.60, sorry, 60. And let's finish that and extrude it. It is 0.25 inches deep. So from 0, 0.25 inches upward from the base and OK. I'm then going to cut let's see looking right here at the very bottom we see that there is a gap to the right side of the center line so that's where I'm gonna put the first gap I mean it might be important where that is so let's do an extrude remember what we're doing here we're going to cut a gap out I'm going to draw a line from the center straight down to half of 5.88. I'll do it this way. Okay, that's one line. The second line from the center, somewhere over here. And the angle between these is two and a half, 2.5.
the inner circle is 5.46 diameter. Draw a line from here straight over, make a corner, I then should trim. Trim these off. That's my one gap. Finish it. Reverse the direction. Subtract it. Pattern it. The count is they're five degrees apart. So 360 divided by five is the count. The angle is five degrees. That would mean the count is 72. That's what I want. The vector is down the center. And I say OK. There we go. Extrude on this plate. Draw a circle. That circle is half an inch diameter. Fine. Distance from here to center. Center to center is 3.48. So 3.48 divided by 2 and distance from here to here 2.24 divided by 2 so that's where 1 is Subtract that, mirror it about an existing plane. That existing plane is right here. Apply that and then mirror it. Mirror both of them about an existing plane right here. So uh, just create approximately the size we want by looking at the drawing. Let's put some geometric constraints in there. Equal length, this one and this one. Apply it, this one and this one. Apply it. This one. This one. Apply it. See, the 4.44 is the outside edges. It says it's from here to here. Two point one one. Two point one one. From this point to here would be half of that. Two point one one divided by two. The angles between here and here is fifty four. Escape. Okay, the overall height from here to here is two. Yep. Two inches. 
the distance from here to this line is 0.25 and And it's partially defined. Let's see what it's missing. Oh, I see these inside lines here. Okay, so from here to here is given as 0.88 plus the height of the gear, 0.25. Now there should be all black lines when you're done. Finish. And this thing is 1.5 inches wide, negative 0.75 and positive 0.75 and unite it. Now maybe the easiest way to create this one is one cylinder at a time. Start the first cylinder at this plane here because we know it's 1.99 inches tall assuming from the top of the bottom of the pants there uh, so 1.99 inches tall when you get to the top of that cylinder create the next cylinder which is uh, 1.38 diameter and then the next one is a little bit larger 1.5 and then 0.4 so just build them one on top of the other stack them like pancakes the other way you could do it is with a revolve starting at the center of the part and create a sketch that you revolve. So I'm going to go here and go up, over, down, over, down, back, down, back, down, over. Uh, let's make sure I made that corner right. Let's make sure I make it horizontal. Let's make sure this one's vertical. I guess I could make sure all those are vertical. I'm going to revolve it about that. 360, unite it, and we're done. When you're done uniting, look at if it's not united, what happens if something is not united? Let's go to edit parameters and just say create or none. What do you notice with not united parts? Uh, there's no hard line there. There's no edge line where these come together because there's one part inside the other. Another way to say it is the part that's, uh, that's inside the other part, it's double dense okay so that's what it looks like if it's not united if you don't unite it you can right click it and go back to edit parameters to unite it or you can go up here to unite and just click on this and this and say okay and that unites it so look at the edge lines they tell you things save it look at it compare it with the compare it with the picture in the book if something looks out of proportion, you may just have to tip it a little bit different. Looks like uh, this isn't quite isometric. It looks like it's more of a trimetric. So this thing could be tipped maybe a little bit like that. Okay, if they're out of proportion, check your dimensions. Uh, you might want to time yourself when you do these parts. Uh, maybe the last couple. You should be able to get one of these done in 45 minutes to an hour. Okay. If not, you probably need a little bit more uh, practice. Do the same part again. The next video will show you how to hand these in.